What up, what up, what up, YouTube goers? Welcome to another awesome figure review on Toys Collectibles channel. Figure review starting with the NECA's Collectibles. Was P Predator. Wow. I mean, NECA came out with some new Predator figures this year for the new line, and it is wow. This is one of my favorite Predators so far. I'm so impressed with this figure, and I'm really speechless about West P Predator. And, you know, I never heard of this Predator before, but, you know, just looking at this figure is just, wow, badass. Um, the spear he has with the alien's head on here, priceless. I mean, wow, the sculpting of the Predator having the alien's head on his stick on his spear is just wow really cool the detailing is just so mystical wow so speechless i mean look at this i mean his whole body's like black and yellow and he kind of looks like a, a bumblebee <laughs> if you think about it but wow this figure is really cool i mean it's like look at the paint the um paint designs and applications it's like wow they really do a good job i like the black and yellow though it really comes out with the Predator, really designing, and, and you know, it's really cool. And I like his, you know, armor. You see how his armor's like, kind of like has been jacked up, like he's been in a couple of fights before. And that's really cool. And then you see right there, also cool, you know, nice design, sculpted, you know, figure. You know, nothing wrong with it. And then his dreadlocks, you know, the black and yellow, like all the other Predators have. You know, his armor is pretty much the same like all the other Predators of the videos I've been doing. Really cool. And his, bread, his dreadlocks do, or dreads, do move so you could like spread them out to, you know, make them roomy. Or you just have them all together up close. And then, um, yeah, he comes with a fanny pack. I call that fanny pack, but he, you know, come with that. And, you know, this figure is a very flexible figure, and I'm really impressed with this figure, you know. A lot of people say they don't like this figure because it's too bright or it's an ugly color. I mean, in my opinion, it's a very awesome figure. And I got it for a good price, too. His head does turn to the right. does turn to the left. But his head does not go all the way up like it should. But it's still a good figure. But he doesn't have no ab crunch. But he has a waist swivel. Look, he can hit you with this. Wa-bam, wa-bam, wa-bam. Mess with me, Zach. <laughs> having fun a little bit with this figure but um yeah guys this um very cool figure you know um he does have knee joints he does have elbow joints but i in my opinion i feel like they should put predators with an app crunch and you know make it more a little interesting and then as you can see right here he comes with the blades the blades do go in so you can actually push them in or you can have them out all depends how you want them and um, his tracker detonator that he has on his right arm does not open. So, yeah. But this is a good figure. I mean, look at the design on here. It just looks like he has rusty armor. And that's really cool what brings out the Predator. It's like, if you look at it carefully, it's like compared to all the other Predators, I think what NECA is doing with their figures now, they're trying to get into more detailing on their armor because their armor is just wow really cool and you see it right on the top on his left shoulder it kind of looks like he got like baby bluish on his armor and you can see have you noticed he gets a little bit of bluish going on on certain areas like cutting towards his left shoulder going down between his crotch and you can see like a little bit of the bluish in there but not that much and then his helmet actually has like a different color design actually too. It's like a dark, brighter, kind of dirty color, yellowish color going on. That's kind of, but it's still a cool figure. I like it. You know, it's a very cool figure. Wow. So detailed. But sometimes you got to be careful with these figures because when you take them out of the package, they tend to have to get scraped or, you know, scratched. And as you can see right there, my camera can focus. It got a little scratch right there. I don't know if it was a scratch or dry paint left over from the figure being done. But to me, it looks like a scratch. But at the same time, I could be wrong. It could be dry paint. Same thing right here. So, you know, that's 
like I said, I can't really tell if it's a scratch on there or is it a dry paint. All I could tell is it looks like it's dry paint. But at the same time, it's still a good figure. I'm happy with it and I love it. You know, my rating for this figure, I'll probably give it a 10 out of 10. And like I say, you guys are Predator fans, go get yourself one because it's awesome. But um, anyways, guys, that's my figure on Toys Collectibles channel. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave comments, subscribe, and please check out my other videos and leave comments below. Tell me what you think of the figure. And be part of my fan page on Facebook at Toys Collectibles channel by pressing like and sharing with others. Search it up and you'll find it. But anyways, guys, hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you on the next. Peace.